Today I'm downtown Toronto because my friends are moving back to Sweden. This view is a really nice view. Anyway, yeah, we are still in quarantine. However, my friends are moving back to Sweden and I thought I'm gonna give them a hand, help them move out. That's Ellen. Say hi to Hello. Ellen, you guys. Their place looks so different from the times we party in here. <laughs> yeah, we used to party here all the time. This is the famous beer pong table. Although, we were never really good at it. And now there will be no more beer pong. However, Pelly was good at beer pong. Oh, but his long arms were a definite advantage. But the whole morning, we've been just moving things downstairs into the garbage chute. Like we brought most of it out. Pele, our Alex, he is out getting some food because we are quite hungry. And then we're just gonna finish up here before we say our goodbyes. Okay, well, while we're here, we're gonna do a little bit of a house tour of their place. In case anyone is looking for a place downtown, it'll probably already be rented out. Anyway, this is the entrance. This here is the bathroom. So they've got like a bathroom in here. So you've got your little laundry. And then over here is kind of like a a den area, which is really spacious. I'm just opening up closets. It's not a big closet space here. And then let's keep exploring. Over here is like the dining area. And then the kitchen with our beer pong table. Ah! And then the living room. Where I've crashed many times Hello. after a night of partying and have had to endure it the morning after. I'm gonna snoop into their bedroom. By the way, I had this fluff in my hair the entire day and no one said anything to me. Thanks guys. I think Alex is gonna also have a lot of the t-shirts. That's the bathroom. I think I've only used that bathroom once to pee yeah. while I was drunk. <laughs> and then the main draw, well actually all of the space is a good draw, but one of the main draws is the view out here. Like really going to miss it. And the balcony, the patio space. <laughs> The number of drinks we've had out here. I bought no rest to be on my dinner, that's the life for me. And the good talks. The nights of getting drunk. School, Shabashi and Allah. Tequila with lemon and cinnamon. That's awesome, right? That's good. And staring out there before we go and explore in the city. And in Pelly's own words. This is the best place ever. Yeah. It's going to be so missed. And I'll miss you, buddy. Oh, I'll miss you too, buddy. After spending years with the Swedes, I'm convinced that the official Swedish anthem is leveled by Avicii because everywhere we went, especially with Ellen, that song was always playing. We just had lunch. We are now going to Staples because Ellen wants to buy a Fitbit. So I am going to accompany her. We're getting a Fitbit because I should have one. Yep. Oh, here they are. I think that's the one I was looking That looks so tiny. Oh, it's half. That's very big. It's almost like the same size as Alex. That is the same size as Alex. She's deciding on which one she wants to get. I'm here as encouragement. It's her going away gift for herself when she goes back to Sweden. I kind of like that one too though. But it's very big. Big, but it's not it's not ugly big though. No, it looks good in Alex, but we're trying to find somebody right now. Are we <laughs> going to the cash? I can approach on your behalf. Yeah, but no, one here. <laughs> no, there isn't. This is one of the first times that I've walked into a store in a Ready? long Me time. Me too. It's we've been feel, we've been in lockdown. Yeah, I feel like we are like criminals. <laughs> What'd you get, Ellen? I got. A pink fit. Got a pink fit bit. And at a really good price. I'm very proud. Yep. We made a decision. We were debating for a long time. <laughs> we sure it were. So nice. Like was. if this is how customer service is gonna be from now on, I'm Anne. I like that. Yeah, he was very friendly. And very patient, I will say, because yeah. I am the worst customer. I ask a thousand questions. <laughs> 
A bit about my friendship with Ellen. Once upon a time, my best friend Matilda was hosting a Swedish afterwork in which Ellen happened to be attending. And then one day, Matilda moved back to Sweden. From there, Ellen and I started to hang out more often, and soon our friendship grew to what it is today. Ellen's an extrovert that likes to have a good time and is full of energy. But she's also more than that. She's caring and compassionate, fights for what's right, and likes to bring others along the journey. And that, in a nutshell, is my friend Ellen. I need to get the app. It was in Swedish. Do you have it in Swedish or in English? We just finished cleaning up. It's like very empty. Very empty. We're also very tired. <laughs> like, we're so we're really exhausted. tired. We're so done. And just like that, the door has closed. Bye guys. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad to see you go. Having become friends with a number of Swedes throughout the years has been amazing. I've had the opportunity to learn their culture, experience life through their eyes, and gain their perspective on the world around us. But more importantly, I experienced the true meaning of the Swedish value of togetherness, and I'm so lucky and grateful for their friendship. They're some of the most humble, fun, adventurous people I've met, and I'm going to take this experience to become a better friend towards others. I'm really going to miss them. But for now, tack for welcoming me into your lives. Until we meet again, hello!